Um, well, just now, that it feels wonderful, but I would always say I wasn't the man who brought him down. I, I, I did a lot of good journalistic work, and Lance eventually was brought down. Um, the thing was, from the very first day, I knew the story was a fraud, and I went a long way towards proving it, came up with what I would call good, ordinary proof. In the end, we realized what Lance Armstrong had said himself was true. You needed extraordinary proof. And federal officers in the, in the US got 26 witnesses to say they knew about his doping. They saw him, they got drugs for him, they got drugs from him, all of that stuff. But they didn't go against him until they had 26 witnesses because people didn't want to know the truth in this story. And that's why it's such a compelling story. What this movie does is that it brings you inside Lance's team and it brings you inside Lance's mind. The documentaries can tell you the facts, but this actually shows you how the whole process of cheating operated, how sophisticated it was, and in a way, how unusual a character Lance Armstrong was. He wasn't, he wasn't any old athlete who just doped. He was a very special one in so many ways. And I think people are going to find Ben Foster's portrayal of him extraordinary.